Welcome back to Pathologic 2. In the last episode, I ran around like a chicken with my head cut off, trying to complete as much as I could before infection and exhaustion and hunger got the best of me. So at this point, uh, how am I doing with stuff? Yeah, I'm doing like okay-ish, sort of, with everything. Well, not really with health. And definitely not with exhaustion. But basically, if I sleep... I should get my health back, my exhaustion will go down, and I should be in a pretty good place. So that's where I'm at right now, Stamaton's Loft, about to sleep. They're infected, but I've already given them some medication, best I can do. A couple things I'm gonna miss out on, like checking up on Anna Angel. <clears throat> I hope we can still check up on them tomorrow. Basically just that, and then the kids are doing something here. Those are the two things I'm missing out on. I could run over to Anna's place, but no, I've been taking damage from my exhaustion. I need to sleep. Morphine. Let's try three hours. Are we going to have that dream again? Yeah, this one. I had it a little while ago, but, um, I died after seeing it, so that's why it's happening again. I don't mind watching it again, though. It's really interesting. Day four, in which the theater observes a full house. That's a lot of things down there. We are in Act Three. Hmm. Well, if you look at Act Two, almost everything is filled in. I did a pretty damn good job. Man, I still got a significant amount of exhaustion. Should I sleep another? Hour? Wait a minute, what is this? Fund? Huh? A hospital has been set up in the town theater. Every doctor is there. I can brew medicine from herbs, water, and human organs. All kinds of medicine, including the kinds I can't buy. Complex mixtures are brewed in the big Olympic, but it's broken. It requires a toolkit to fix. Time to deal with this issue. No problem. Last episode I bought a toolkit. <clears throat> if you hear the earth grumble, find the source, stand still. She will show her roots to the patient. It was prophesied that I'd spill rivers of blood soon. Well, there are all kinds of blood. Some evenings kid, kids gather at the station. Among other things, father left me a list. Apart from seven kids, there was an eighth name there. Uderg. Who or what is it? After dark, step people meet at Saba's place. Uderg means the body that contains a world. It refers to something that consists of many living parts. To defeat an enemy, one must understand it, and I don't mean a biological study. What is this plague? <clears throat> a deadly disease is devouring my town. We have no experienced doctors. What shall we do? So, just gotta go to the theater. Mm. Can I speak with Stamaton? Is, uh, do I want to sleep another hour? It might be wise. I can sleep later, right? Maybe I'll find enough coffee that it won't be a problem. Yeah. Look at the light streaming in. So beautiful. You, uh, feeling any better? You did all you could. Just gotta wait. Oh, I was gonna take screenshots of all the important things on the walls in the lair. 
that I think are hints on how to brew stuff, but I forgot to do that. Mm. <clears throat> what the hell? <laughs> just shit. Whoa. Ah, fucking hell. I thought somebody was about to punch me. I just saw feet or something. Messenger. Governor Sabarov is calling for you. It's urgent. What's the matter? It appears your father's killer has been found. The interrogation is held at the Rod. Found again? They found one before. Me. Sabarov seized father's murderer. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, just right over there? That's the Rod, apparently. <clears throat> broken. Oh no, I need to fix it. Oh god. It's gonna be harder and harder to get water. Bodies just in the streets. And this isn't even an infected district, it's just a formerly infected district. Oh! Come back. So, now they're even attacking during the daytime. Give me your shit. Fuck off. night. Ah, Barach. As you can see, we're making progress with your case. There's plenty of evidence against him. It looks like a step person. What evidence? Solid evidence? Would you like to speak with him yourself? What evidence? He was with Isidore the night of the murder. He followed your father through the steppe at night. They were seen together. His story doesn't add up. Is that enough? I'm not an investigator. I'm the head of my house, and in these strange, strange times, the governor of this mad circus. <clears throat> so who is the investigator? At times like these, we can't get bogged down with investigations and hearings. Throw him in prison. Let him stay there. Until things calm down. Wait, I want to speak with him first. I know you, Yargachin. May Mother Bodo caress your step. You're my salvation. You know the lines and can tell lies from truth. Look into my eyes. I did not kill your father. Talk to me. Don't hold anything back. What happened that night? On the eve of their deaths, your father and Simon Cain went out into the steppe. They dug a hole in secret. I witnessed this and told Taichik, the termitary overseer. I should have gone to Foreman Oyun, of course. He was a friend to your father. <clears throat> went out to the steppe and dug a hole. So what happened next? Do you know the lines? Perhaps not, but your father did. I don't believe he meant evil, but the elders, they ran after him into the steppe. Or after them, rather. That's what I did, Yorgachin. You may judge me now. <clears throat> I 
And you never saw my father again that night? No. Well, then there's nothing to judge here. The stepman did not kill father. He hasn't done anything wrong at all. There's a twinge in my chest. Could it be conscience? <laughs> I hate you so, Brav. Uh, well? It's not him, I'm sure of it. You can release him now. <clears throat> that, Barak, is ultimately not your decision. I only wanted your opinion, and I will do with him as I see fit. Then my opinion is this. Prison's no place for an innocent man. Sorry, buddy. That's all I can do. I don't have that much power here. What was that weird noise? Man, look at that sun. It's so bright, so beautiful. <sighs> Yulia's in danger and I'm like right here. I think I should go talk with them and give them some immunity boosters. Yeah. Are you another punchy boy? You gonna try to punch me? kill them. I thought they would say like, hey, <clears throat> back up, but they weren't making any move to do that. Alright, well, give me your shit, asshole. Let's drain their blood. That's it. I didn't see any notification that people didn't like that. People are fine with that? Zone. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Give him medicine. Just to some random person on the street. I mean, of course, they all need help, but like, God, can I really help all the named people and just random people on the street, too? <clears throat> Um. Oh, hey, look at this. Look at these different sections. Diagnostics, antibiotics, and then the schmouters listed under miracles. Oh, it even has changed the description. A box filled with powder made of assorted ground pills. Extremely harmful, but somehow cures sand plague. Or sand pest. Extremely harmful. Meaning that it gives you a lot of pain? Or what? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna save my medicine for named pe- What just happened there? Oh god, oh that's one of the infected. Did they just like, punch them or did they just happen to fall down? I'm not sure what I saw. Yulia, please still be alive. Also, did you have to design everything? The terrible roads like that? Kind of sucks. Prophylaxis. So they're not infected. Good. Let's give them the Zerk Tincture Plus. Huh. 
Okay, we'll probably be fine. Can't say anything to them. Is there a save point in here? Yes, somewhere. <clears throat> you know what, I should probably take an immunity booster myself, actually. I lowered my thirst a lot. I wonder if they all lower your thirst, because they're all drinks, sort of. Probably don't taste very good, huh? Right. To the theater. No point in taking a boat. Just run straight for it. That's a lot of stuff. Shit, yeah, I didn't even, have a, didn't even have room for all of it. I mean, whatever, it's just a chisel. I'm wondering if I should just help this person just right here, like... I, it's very, 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 very unlikely this will actually help them, because this would have to be the right one out of three. And... Actually, no, it's impossible. There's no way to help them unless I use Schmouter. Because even if this one did the thing... My pills aren't actually for nerves, they're for bone, so I wouldn't even be able to treat it. Sorry. Mother Pogo. Do I have room for the herbs, though? <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I'm not gonna bother then, I'll wait. Trading for the peanuts would be good. Two matches for some peanuts. Yeah. As for a repair... Can't do anything. Lockpick for some toast. No. Ooh, crap ton of kids. Hey, Uncle. Are the dog heads done for? Or is there a mutiny? Uh, I don't know. What makes you think so? I don't know either. Khan left them. But why? Did they force them out? Wait, what? Where did he go? To the nutshell, of course. Our lot said he's sitting there, all shut in and refusing to come out. Aren't you interested in what happened? You're so boring. <laughs> well, fuck you, kid. You've got enough fun for two, though. Casper Kane moved to the nutshell? What in the world has compelled him to leave the polyhedron? Oh, I have a lot to trade for fingernails, and I have nine fingernails right now. Well, that's a lot, actually. But I might as well trade for more. Six. This kid likes raisins? Alright, you're the only kid that does. Enjoy. Raisins and some chalk. Maybe they eat the chalk, too. Morphine for six, yes. Walnuts, five. Chalk, three. Peanuts, two. Walnuts, seems like a good one. Well, that doesn't really work out evenly. Two things of marbles, yeah. We're working. We're working. It'll be done soon. You'll like it. What? What will be done? The thing we're making will help you a bunch. Come to Notkin's castle and see for yourself. Uh, but for now, it's a secret. A surprise. Best way to help me would be staying safe, so you don't end up on my table. Got it? What's well, nice of them? The urchins in the warehouses say they've come up with some way to assist me. We'll 
Let's see about that. Smoked fish and a fingernail. Those would be good. I don't know if I want more than 10 fingernails, though. Do I? Probably not. Let's just get the smoked fish. Three more. Fishing hook. Yeah. Good, because my hunger was super high. Did I already trade with you? Guess so. Ooh. Yeah, I'll trade for that. What do you like, kid? Peanuts, chestnuts. You don't like a whole lot, do you? You're the one who loves raisins. Is that the only thing you like in this world? Is it still worth it? Hmm. I don't know if it's worth it, really. Because I think I'm going to be able to brew my own antibiotics soon. With organs and stuff. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. Kinda wanna stop by a clothes store. I'm still looking for some friggin' fabric to upgrade my bag. Yeah, let's go down to that clothes store. Oh, that's an infected district. So that means Capella's in danger, Big Vlad's in danger, Yulia's in danger, but we've already treated them. Oh boy. Are stores open when the district's infected? <clears throat> Still open for business? Oh my god! Cloak! That's a thing! So I guess you could either wear it or use it as a crafting thing? Or wait, is it... Repellent cloak, that's a... Oh, these are better versions. Cloth gloves, leather gloves. They're not even that much more expensive. They're only like 50% more. Um, but anyway, yeah, to upgrade, I think it was just a normal cloak. I don't think it was a repellent cloak. So, that. Anything I want to sell? Anything worth a lot? You want some soap? Jewelry is worth a good amount, but I don't really have any of that. Hmm. I don't think any of this is worth selling. I probably shouldn't wear it. What if the durability needs to be max? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take that off. To do that, I need to drop something, though. Uh, Let's drop the soap. That's not very important. Turns out the cloak is 3 by 2 It's freaking huge. Wait, what? Oh, it's 3 by 3 Well, in that case, I might as well pick this stuff back up. I guess I'm going to have to wear it and just hope I don't wreck it. Uh, yeah. I'd like to just, like, go there and craft it right now. Not a bad idea, but there's other stuff I should do. Like, I'm right next to the hospital. Let's just get out of here super freaking fast.
Haven't heard this piano track before. Sick and dead do we have in here already? Quite a few. Oh, hey. We don't even have a proper hospital in town. I've come I've come to help. There must be something I can do, right? Yeah, I'm sure there's something you can do. Okay. I'll find a way to help on my own. And you? What are you up to? Me? It's a tough one, I suppose. I'm gonna make a cure for the sand pest. A cure? In these conditions? Don't you need... I don't know, special instruments? An army of chemists? The best we have is a kitchen stove. How do you hope to succeed? Hey, Pasteur and Coach worked in barns. Never stop them. I have no idea who Coach is or if I'm even pronouncing that right, but I think Pasteur would be like Louis Pasteur. Person who invented pasteurization and I'm sure worked on a lot of other stuff too. This hunt for blood sounds dangerous, Cub. Won't you just infect yourself? Promise me you'll be as careful as you can. If you need me, please ask. Thank you, Laura. You're the only one who believes in me. Will you drop by today? Sure, yeah, if you promise to feed me. <laughs> I guess I should pay a visit to Laura. At least someone in this town understands that doctors need to eat. How heavy is a head? I mean, it varies. <laughs> what kind of a question is that? Where have you been? We're drowning in work. That's why I came. What do you need me to do? If the screams are any indication, the sand plague is painful. These people need care. Dirty care. Prosecting the dead, studying infected organs. Dinkovsky's orders. What else can be done? We try different older medicines, study their effects, but the supply is short. Exactly. So shouldn't we be making medicine? Alright, genius. Tell me. What's on your mind? Father knew how to make concoctions. He mixed tissue with twire infusions. Your father knew many things, true. But he didn't even have time to teach me, even though I was by his side all those years. Sleeping on his floor like a dog. I tried my best, but this work requires a certain talent. Like his. And you? You learned nothing from him. Yeah, that's bullshit. Who knows? Perhaps I did. I was with him in the first outbreak. I know the sand plague. I'm no mystic, but it's some punishment from heaven, more complex than disease. To cure such an ill, one must be Isidore, but even he failed. He failed? I won't. Blah, blah, empty words. Why are you always so arrogant? I always got under my skin. Father always said we should look for connections among things. That is how he made those mixtures. You would need to become a teacher to accomplish that, but you chose to split away from your father. 
You're now Isidore Cub. You're a broken record. Just trust me like you once did, if you can. The nature of this disease is unknown. Father could defeat these two. If only I could remember his lessons. I only know an iota of what he did, but I'll make a panacea. Shooting pretty high there, Artemy. Soon I must bid you farewell, <clears throat> friend. Remember me fondly. If you really plan to make that panacea of yours, do what you think is right. I'll cover for you. But the order from the town hall was clear. All doctors are to work at the hospital, sharing their duties. You are to report daily and work, or there will be consequences. Seriously? What consequences? You'll be removed from the pest fund lists and receive no monetary support. In my book, Cub, it's not about the money, but a clear conscience. Your duties as a doctor. The pest fund list. Monetary support. Am I receiving monetary support? I haven't seen it so far, but that must be what that money counter thing is. Interesting. I thought we already discussed my current duties. We're short on painkillers. Can you brew more? What about medicine? Is the hospital not supplied? Where would we take it from? Medicine stores? All stocks are running low since the train wasn't here on time. They'll requisition what they can. Dankowski's in charge of that, but we need more right now. I'll try. I'm at a loss. I've never seen a serious outbreak. And this... Listen, was there really not a single recovery? Not a single one. Neither was there one five years ago. I don't know of any other such disease. Pneumonic plague. There was no salvation either, and no vaccines helped. Today's task give painkillers to all living patients. <sighs> How do I collect this fund? That does sound important. I do want to keep that in like... I mean, I want to give painkillers to a bunch of patients, of course. Today I need to lower the patient's pain. There are some painkillers in the hospital, but I'll need to obtain the rest myself. The fund has a reward for me. Wait, so one, two, three, four. So I need four painkillers? Shit. Do you dispense the rewards? What was once a theater of comedy is now an anatomy theater. It was a theater of tragedy. Each day will bring new jobs for you and for us. You work here in the hospital. We crawl around houses looking for corpses. God knows which is worse. I'd say your work is worse. I guess. I don't envy you, working with the doomed and dead. But you will have some support. There, deep on the stage, to the left of you, is a closet, see? You'll find medicine inside, replenished every day. You're free to grab and use it. Is that the fund? I mean, that's not a fund, that's just medicine. They're not doomed yet. This? Man, that's not much. That stacks, thankfully. Tourniquet. Guess I have room for that. Should I just use the tourniquet? I'm a little bit hurt. <sighs> yeah, I'll, I'll just use it. Kind of want to make space. Also, it barely heals anything, so whatever.
eerie blue light back here. Oh, these look important too. Well, eh, maybe not. I don't think that is important for brewing anything. Okay, well, I need to give them all morphine. This person isn't even really in very much pain, though. More importantly would be to treat their infection. I'm not... There's no way I have the resources to treat four people's infection. Along with all the other named people, I'm sorry, but I'm going to prioritize the people I know because I'm selfish like that. You're good. Need to administer painkiller to three more patients. Just one more. Oh, could I? Oh, I thought maybe I could talk with him. Yeah, is there still a reward for me? I don't know. Was that really the reward? Is the medicine? It's not really a reward for me at all. I thought it was monetary. It even says a fund. Goods aren't really part of a fund. There's nothing up here, is there? No, I'm wasting my time. I need to eat soon. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna go. Is that not marked on the map anymore? No, it's just the painkiller thing. Oh, the fund has a reward for me. It's over here at the town hall. Okay. Let me see if I can trade for painkillers with somebody. Uh, trading for walnuts would be a good idea. Street razor plus a match for two walnuts. That's a great deal, actually. I should probably just buy the coffee. Yeah, I'm going to need it. My exhaustion isn't exactly low. It's already above half. I'm definitely going to need it by the end of the day. Well before the end of the day, honestly. Egg, yes. What do you like? Peanuts? Springs? Ah. Uh. Do I want to trade all my springs? Yeah, sure. Oh, you're the weird raisin kid. <sighs> Morphine. Yes. What do you like? Peanuts? Just peanuts, basically. Well, okay. I'll trade chestnuts. get this done while I'm here. What one did I not administer to? I think it's you. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, everybody everywhere really liked that. Done with my shift for today. Tomorrow the fund will reward me and new work will become available at the hospital. I should just go visit Lara as well. I do need the food. 